Hello, welcome to Center for Entrepreneurship and General Studies. I am Dr. Juliet Inekbedion, the head Center for Entrepreneurship and General Studies. I want to quickly take you through how you're going to log on to the CNGS platform. The CI, through the CNGS platform, you will be able to assess all the general study course materials and you will have access to all the instructional videos on GST courses, take your TMAs and at the same time receive online facilitation. There will be two types of online facilitations. We're going to have the asynchronous and the synchronous. For now, we're going to start with the asynchronous. We have by the you will be meeting with your facilitator online, communicating in text draft form. But in the real form, we're going to start that soonest after now. And let's quickly go to how you're going to log on to the platform. You click on the search engine and right here I type in www.ceags.n o u e d u dot n e t let's go through it again you have www dot c e a g s dot n o u e d u dot n e t now press your enter it's coming up it brings you to this site this is the old site who we are using so from here you're going to scroll down where you have registration information or under announcements, you have details of what you need to do further. Now, once that has been attained, you now have to log on. This is the actual portal now. This is the portal you are going to use this time around. So the portal is you enter HTTPX colon to front slash c e a g s l e a r o n dot n o u e d u dot n e t you have let's take it again h t t p s color front slash two front slash then c e a g s L E A R N C A G S L dot N O U E D U dot net. You enter. This is where you will get all your course materials. It's on this site. You will get all your course materials. It's on this site. You will get all the learning videos and so on. So once you have received the information, the information you're going to get on this site is to just give you how you need to enter and here you will be told what you need to do but coming here this is where the actual place where the real thing will happen so coming to this place what are you supposed to do as a student that is just coming on board you're going to log in and it's going to ask for your login details so in this case you click login i've clicked on my login you see it will bring out this page asking you for your login into your account requesting for your login details and the rest of them so your login detail is your username is your matric number so right now as a student i am going to enter my matric number i'm taking an anonymous student in this instance so i'm going to use an anonymous student and i will put in my matric number which is n o u i click on username and i enter my n o u this is my matric number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That is my matric number. Then under the password, because this is my first login, I will repeat the same matric number. But be very, this, the password is case sensitive. So you have to use lower case for your matric number. So in this case, I have NOU. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because that is my matric number. And I come in here, I say login. Now, while you have told me log, you said you must change your password to proceed. This is what you're going to see. Look at it. You must change your password to proceed. If you do not change your password, you cannot proceed. 
you must change it. So the your the matric number you have used as your username as password is just for you to have access. So when you come here, you have to repeat that same current password, which is your matric number. So right here, we enter my matric number again, NOU1. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's my matric number. Here, the new what do I want my matric number to be? I will not say this out. This is for me, and it's only me that know this. And in this case, I want to quickly advise: please don't allow anybody in the business center to help you change your matric number. Because if they put a password, sorry, to change your password, if they put a password that you do not know you are cut off you will not be able to do your tmas you will not be able to view the videos because you don't know the password each time after now when you change your password anytime you get to this site it will always request for your password please do it yourself if you have any challenge go to the center there are mis there are ict personnel at the center they could guide you on what to do make sure it's your password is known to you and you alone do not share your password with anybody so right here i'm not going to enter my password i will enter my password now i won't tell you what my password is Then I will repeat the same password here. I will now click save. Now there was an error. You see the password I enter, can you see that? Password must be at least eight characters long. long. Because what I enter is not up to eight characters long, it has rejected it. So you must take care of this. It's not up to I have to click this up. It's not up to eight characters. So I must choose a password that is up to eight characters. So right now, I'm going to take another password, which I will not tell you because it should be known to me alone. Then I will repeat the same here. Now I will click on change, save changes. Let's see what comes out now. Can you see it now? I am in this instance, Hassan Baba as the student, cause this is an anonymous student. So you see that when I come in here, I have been able to set password has been changed. So I will now come here and say continue. If you want to save your password, you say save, but if not, you click this and close. Then you come here now, I say continue. I click on continue to go in. So it takes me to my course pages. You have timelines. Where there are timelines, there are things that have, you will see it under this place. If not, you just click on courses. So you can you see in this instance, these are the courses I have entered. So as a student, when you get to this environment, you will only have access to view the courses that you have registered for. So for me, as Hassan Baba, I have only registered for two courses. And that is GST 302, Business Creation and Growth, and Introduction to Philosophy and Logic. That is GST 203. So in this case, if I have to now go further in my courses, let's take GST 302, I click on it. I'm now on my course page. Once I click on it, this is where it's bringing me to. So if you go through this, you see that it is being put into modules for you, down, down to the end. Now let's look through quickly. Here we have announcements. So if there is any announcement, click here. You will know the announcement that is before you, you need to attend to. So in this regard, the announcement here, you see I have put something icebreaker. So you click on it and see what is in the icebreaker. You click on the icebreaker and what do we see right there? It's telling you upload your passport and introduce yourself by stating your name. How do you introduce your passport? Uh, uh, now upload your passport. Come to this place. Can you see my cursor here where you have Hassan Baba? Come there, click on it. Then you go to profile. You click on your profile. 
when you click on your profile is coming up you your profile is already up there now scroll down when you scroll before you scroll down you see a uh, page let's look at it this is the default page then you come here look at my course it say edit profile you click on edit profile i've clicked on my edit profile once you click on your edit profile you scroll down look at your name is there your email address is here you see your email address you cannot edit it your name you cannot edit it because if not people will join if you change any of these it will affect your record that is why you cannot edit anything here but what can you edit i have to select maybe city if you want to select your city then you come up to the time zone you see i can edit time zone so there are things that you cannot edit because we need to come up to enter your picture you now come here user's picture what do you need to do you would have saved your picture somewhere in either your flash drive or in the hard disk of your computer you now come here click once you click it will come up you don't want to see where we can download our pictures it's taking time i don't have anything in there but if i have you see here add then let's look at files let's see if we can get where we can add our picture i don't have anything here for now but if there is once i click on add i should have a place here where i can add my pictures in so from here you pick your picture let's upload the file let me click on this and let's see i want to, okay good you click on upload the file so once you click on upload the file so from here i will choose the file i want to do because where i save my picture so you will now look through look through where your picture is look for your picture uh if you have a picture let me pick this these are pictures these are pictures these are pictures but i can't use this now because it's just an example so if you get where the picture is double click on that picture and you now say open or it will enter here you click upload once you do that you have uploaded your picture it will now appear and this is very important because it will enable you to know one another right in there in your class so it is very very important i take it again click here when you click here you go to your profile when you click on your profile it brings you up there then you have to click on this document you say upload a file they give you opportunity to upload a file then you continue once that is done you can now go back again to your dashboard you see you have your dashboard to continue what you need to do now you come up we have done the first one remember we are still on creation and growth sorry we would have gone to the course instead of the dashboard so you continue with your course that is for that the course guide for this gst302 you can access your course guide here please ensure that you read through your course guide because it is very very important for you to read your course guide it's going to tell you all that is required in that course for you to pass that course it will tell you all that you need to do this is the course guide so you can come here go back after you've assessed your course guide i've gone back then right here meet your facilitator where you want to meet your facilitator online then while you are meeting with your facilitator you can either go to the course guide which you have just assessed or you participate in the online class or you can jump from here to any other part you want to be like here i can just jump to module one of the course material and it takes me there fast without wasting of time do you see that it has taken me there so you can read online while you are online you can read through then in this place also you see you have course guide if you did the course material from here you can equally assess the course guide from here you can equally assess the icebreaker so if i click on my course guide it still takes me to the course guide you will see it a while you see i'm still in my course guide so you can equally from there go to your icebreaker let's see it's coming up again now if i am within my course material which is this I can equally assess my icebreaker because in the icebreaker anything you enter there other persons will be able to view it you see i come in here and i click if i come this is my icebreaker it's telling me what to do so i cannot go back 
and add what I need to do and I work on. So right here you discover that it makes work easy because right here to give you the community presence, you give you the uh, social presence because you'll be able to talk with other persons and so on. So right here we can equally go back again. I go back to my module one here, not just the course material now, I want to assess my module one. Then I come in here, still on module one, I have my instructional videos. Look at it, I click on my instructional videos, it will bring out all the videos that I have in there. I have all the videos, you see? And in the videos, every unit in that module has a video. So you click and you play your video. I can click on this and my video comes up and I play and I listen to it. I watch and we are going to look at uh, module one, unit one which deals with the business planning process. So for everything, so that is for that. Today, that. Then if it is audio you want to listen to, you click and you listen. Welcome to GSC 302. So that is for that. So wherever you go, even in your phones, this thing is meant to play very well in your handset. So you can use your handset wherever you are and play on them. This video also, you can access them even from your course page. When you are on the course page, you can equally access your videos. Now let's go back to module one again. Now let's go back to the course material. If you get to the course material, it's coming up. Let's quickly look at what is there. Let's scroll down to the end of that unit. Let's get to where we have summary. I'm scrolling down. You see here on that summary, if you click this, you equally assess the video. If you click this, you assess or you copy it and put it on your URL, the uh, well, you assess the video. It's only the audio we have not activated. With time, we're going to add it. Even when did the course, you can assess what you need to assess. So right here, let's go back again to the course page. I click on my course page, it takes me to the course page right away. So if I'm here, you discover that module two it has the same thing. But under module two, there is a discussion. Discussion forum on what? Ethics and social responsibility. If I click on my discussion forum, I will be given opportunity to contribute to that discussion. So when you come in here, you click on ethics and uh, respons uh, social responsibility. It will give me opportunity as a student to make my said reply. You click the reply and you make a contribution. At the end, your facilitator is going to weave and give you direction on what you need to do. So let's go back to the course page. See, right on the course page, I have taken you through. You see, with this, you'll be able to do all this. You have module three. In module three, we have just the course material and social video. Module four, the same thing. Module five, you discover there is another discussion forum. Now, where will you take your, uh, if you have to take your TMA, it's also, but in this particular course, you are going to do business plan presentation. So what he's saying here is that before you can participate in business plan presentation, you would have covered your module two, three, four, five, and six. Without this, you will not be able to assess the business plan presentation. Then at the end of all, you are expected to fill this, the questionnaire. You must have a filling of the questionnaire for you to end your marks. So if you don't fill your questionnaire, it means you have not completed the activities you need to do. So that may affect your mark. And your participation in this online process, you will earn 10 marks. If you're able to meet 75% participation, you earn 10 marks out of the total 30 marks you have for your total mark assignment. That is why your total mark assignment for all GST is only two. You have two total mark assignments because 10 marks go to your participation online. Now, let's take another course. Let's go to the dashboard. Now, I want to show us something on the TMAs. So let's take in GST 302, I click on my GST 302, then under GST 302, let's see what happens. See, the same thing is in there. We have the forum, but here you describe you have tutor mark assignment after module two. So for you to take tutor mark assignment, you must have covered module one and module two before you can take tutor mark assignments. 
this is just what i want to show us here so outside this every other thing is the same every other thing is the same now you've just seen how you need to walk through the platform and walking through the platform will enhance your learning and give you the knowledge that is required therefore i really encourage you to go through it on this note i leave you to enjoy your learning bye